All right. Giants fourth round pick. They select Ellerson Smith edge out of Northern Iowa, six foot five, 262 pounds. This is a taking a chance on some real pass rush ability. Now he opted out of 2020, but that was because of the FCF stuff and obviously play at Northern Iowa went down to the senior bowl. Looked pretty damn good as a pass rusher down there. Um, and you want to hear some numbers? In 2019, he had 63 tackles, 14 sacks, 21 and a half tackles for a loss. I mean, if we're just, you know, looking at stats and not, you know, through FCS and FCS 1 or whatever, he had the second most sacks uh, in 2019 to Greg Rousseau. In 2018, uh, he had seven and a half sacks, 10 and a half tackles for a loss. He's a long, tall player. Now, he's got a, he's got a very skinny frame. Um, good athlete. He can get lateral. He has real pass rush moves, you know, and there's a lot of edge guys we like, but it's like they don't really have the pass rush moves, and Ellerson Smith does have those. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, good shuffling around the block, like, uh, you know, use that two-hand swipe and then get skinny in the run game. Um, and something I look for with, you know, young edges, you know, that may not be able to fit in right away is what do they do when they have a matchup versus a tight end or a running back? Now, Ellerson Smith always wins that. That's something that I liked about. Marcus Golden. Um, now, here's where he struggled, and this is why I think he's a fourth-round guy instead of a late second, early uh, third. He's very bad in the run game. Like, he has, has a small frame, and he can get moved in the run game. You know, I was watching him against uh, Dylan uh, Radunes out of North Dakota State, um, and he got dominated in the run game. Um, and so I, that's my worry about him is that he may struggle finding the field because the run defense is just not there. You know, he's not going to set an engine. And again, like you can have big running plays because of that type of stuff. So um, starting right away for the Giants, where do I see him playing? So you got Aziz Ojulari. Obviously, he's going to be out there. Lorenzo Carter, Oshane Zimenez. Those would be the top three. And now behind then, you got you got some, some guys. Ryan Anderson. Um, I'm not a huge fan of him, but he's been in the league for some time and has stayed on rosters. And then you got Carter Coughlin, Ellerson Smith, and Cam Brown are those other three guys there. So, it's going to be interesting to see who makes this team in camp um, and who really shows themselves. But I like where the Giants have put themselves in a situation where they need pass rushers, take shots at those guys. And I'm, I'm a big believer in round four through seven, especially you're picking a player. Pick the guy that you think has the best chance to be a really good player. Don't worry about position. I know a lot of people are, are going to be mad that it wasn't offensive line. Um, and I would have I would have. Uh, I like Rashad Weaver as an edge, but, you know, he's just not a scheme fit at all. So it was never going to happen. And after that, I did like Trey Smith out of Tennessee. Um, he was, the, But he was the only offensive lineman that I would have said would have came in and, like, really, I think, giving Shane Lemieux, like, like maybe better than Shane Lemieux right away, where Deontay Brown, there's other guys I like, but I think they, Shane Lemieux would have had that edge. Um, and Trey Smith, there's some medical questions, so I have no idea. Um, the Giants not taking Trey Smith makes me feel more comfortable than any team because we have Jeremy Pruitt. Jeremy Pruitt was his head coach. He knows everything about that guy, so we'll see. Ellerson Smith, you're taking you're taking a chance on a guy with pass rush ability. The Giants need pass rushers. It was severely lacking the past few years. So appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's go big blue.